almost every web app looks the same, man. Like, is it Melon? Is it StreamYard? Is it Restream? <laughs> In this video, we're going to talk about Restream versus StreamYard. Let's go! My name is Dean, YouTube Music Certified and live streaming producer, man. On this channel, I teach musicians and artists how to grow a fan base online. I teach them how to live stream on Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, how to use their cell phone effectively, how to make money online, how to reach your audience, all of that good stuff. Let's get into StreamYard versus Restream. So I'm using Ecamm. Shout out to Ecamm. I'm on my Restream account. I'm logged in. So once you're logged into your, your Restream account, very first thing I want to do is add channels, right? You come here, and as you can see, a bunch of channels, all of these different places, LinkedIn and YouTube. I think Periscope is going away. And all these places I've never heard of before but they are doing good in some places, I guess. <laughs> so you can add whatever channel you want to add. So as you can see, I already added YouTube, my Facebook page, my Facebook profile. Those are there, all right? And so StreamYard is basically the same thing. You log in, you sign up. Links are in the description, by the way, okay? You sign up and then you will come to destination. And this is where you want to add your destination. And you will see Facebook page, Facebook group, or Facebook profile, Twitch, uh, Restream, all of that good stuff. Uh, we no longer use Restream in StreamYard because StreamYard um, handles multi-streaming internally, right? Natively. So this is how we used to do it. But if you still want to do that, that's fine. Like more platforms, then that's still fine. Custom RTMP real-time messaging protocol youtube channel if you come in here you'll add now once you have done that you want to create your show you would hit broadcast and let's say you want to go to youtube you create your description and you would come here and i'll go unlisted you're still in Streamyard. all right stay with me stay with me stay with me all right so this is stream yard hello you'll come in here you add your camera that you want to add let's say you want to add another camera boom right and the same one that i'm on with ecamm is this one right here so i capture card boom it's my sony a6400 what up sony all right audio you want to set that up i'm using my roadcaster pro you're done with that so you're set up so you enter broadcast studio i got my lower third up there let's get that out the way all right so back into restream so once you have set up your destination, you want to click enter live studio. So once you click that, you want to come to settings and choose video input. This one right here. All right. And let's fix the audio input. Roadcaster Pro. Exit out of that. So as you can see, I'm on Restream right now. Look at nice and clean, right? So if you want to add graphics and you know overlays and lower thirds and, and all the good stuff in restream uh, let me show you how to do that all right so you're in here as you can see down here you got different overlays so if you look right up top you can see chat captions so look at these different captions right here restream allows you to stream live to 30 plus social platforms at once so this is what your chat will look like let me create one for myself Join our Facebook group, Music and Social. Got this other one right here. You can change the colors. Sexy. And this one right here. You can definitely book a consultation with me. That's basically your captions, right? Now let's go to graphics. I'm on the default tab. We got news. All right. So that's my hex code. All right. Got my logo uploaded. You can upload your own logo. Overlays. That's one. I got this other overlay. All right. PNG. I got this other one here. You got this other one. You got video clips as well. You can add countdown timer in here. You can add backgrounds. And these will basically show anytime you share your screen or add another guest to your show. And you have different formats in here. And right here, where it says spotlight, you can play a local video as well. And when you feel so. Rise. 
can add, you can open a video, play that. This is where you invite a guest. You can send them the link. You can have up to 10 people. You can share your screen right there. So I just shared a screen in here. So now I need to add it. So I turn that on. So now it's added and I'm right here. So I can definitely, of course, you know, I could go through, I could scroll, stream with me. These shirts are all designed by myself. All right. You got that one, which I like a lot. If I had like four more people on with me, they would all line up down here. I don't think StreamYard has this right here. That's nice. You want to do that picture in picture right there. That's super cool. Look at that. Beautiful. Side by side. Do you see how beautiful this thing is? This is beautiful. Like, I like this layout, like, a lot. So that's basically that part. And then you have the video and the microphone let's jump into StreamYard. so StreamYard. so if you want to add banners you can come in here and you can create your banners you can show them you can add a scroll all that good stuff you can create your name and you can show your name right there if you don't like that you can come back in here in the brand and choose block like that you can choose minimal like that or default all right, you can choose anything you like. All right, and I got my logo in here. Got StreamYard's logo as well. Overlays, you can choose whatever overlay you want to put up. Got that overlay. You can create different things in here, and I can position myself. These are actually made for Ecamm. I try to use some of them in StreamYard. Lower thirds that I created in Canva. So you got the idea. You can add your graphics and lower thirds and overlays just like we stream right you got the private chat <laughs> which is very important actually i like that private chat thingy thingy you can talk behind the scenes when someone is on your stream settings all different things you need to know about stream yard now restream has more bells and whistles let's go to the events right here so you can schedule a live event right here let your audience know when you plan to go live, you can schedule a live event right here, which is super cool. Just like StreamYard, okay? Oh, check this out. StreamYard has this as well. You see your uploads, you, your recordings. I think that once you have gone live or recorded a video on StreamYard, I think it keeps it for 14 days. So right here where it says stream recorded videos live. I know that StreamYard doesn't have this. However, the easiest way to do that on any platform that accepts video is to have the video and just go live and just play the video. <laughs> <laughs> the app doesn't have to have a special feature that plays the video live. Just go live and play the video. You create the video, intros, outros, you say what you want to say, set up the show, but it's a pre-recorded thing and let people know it's pre-recorded. Don't trick the audience. Jump in the comments while the video is live. Please don't trick people. That's not what this is about. But you can use Ecamm, you can just go live, and just play the video once you're alive. Now, this is one thing that StreamYard does not have, I believe. And it's this right here, analytics. And in case you're wondering, no app to download. Restream and StreamYard is all browser-based. And they both go 1080p if you upgrade to a higher tier. Analytics, see that? I don't think StreamYard has this right here. Look at this right here. This is beautiful. Beautiful thing to have, beautiful thing to know. And it's in beta. But it's a beautiful thing to know. Now, let's go to the favorite part of this stream. And it's called pricing. So as you can see, you can invite people. You can send them your link and all that good stuff, right? So here we go with the pricing. You have free stream your branding in your streams, stream limits, all that good stuff. So the plan I'm on is this. So even though it says free, it's not free. I pay $10 a month. It was a special that they did, I think, Cyber Monday. So I pay $10 a month. I can still have my logo in here plus StreamYard's logo. Before it was just theirs, but mine is there as well. This is what I used to pay, $25. You know, I'm not a big fan of subscription. So $25 a month, you got the professional plan, which the main thing is this 1080 right here. So Restream also has a referral program that you can just copy the link and send it out to people. So right now with Restream, the standard is $19 a month. Look at that, professional plan, $49 a month. Professional plan for StreamYard, $49 a month. Their basic is $25 a month. Restreams is $19 a month. 
and these are company plans. Premium, $99 a month on Restream for all this extra stuff here. And business plan, $2.99 a month. Basically, what this boils down to, guys, is choice. Do you prefer Restream or do you prefer StreamYard? StreamYard's basic plan is $25 a month. Restream's basic plan is $19 a month. They have similar layouts. I like how they have the frame. I like I like Restream's like 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 layouts, you know, when you share a screen and and you they got the uh picture in picture at the bottom like this one right here. Yeah, I like that. Do you want to save 6 bucks on the basic plan? 6 bucks is a lot. Yeah, for sure. Drop a comment down down below wherever you're watching this video tell me which one you prefer talk to me in the comments like i do these videos and i would appreciate the, the engagement give me a like and leave a comment let me know what you think about this stream and check out all my links in the description how to live stream with Streamyard. yes i have a course on that and i also have another course called music publishing made easy for all you musicians out there and independent artists that want to know how to make money online this is dean reynolds media peace